So today, day 79, we are leaving this really lovely little hotel um, in Kuster... Kustendil. Kustendil. And we're going to... Blagorovgrad. <laughs> Blagorovgrad via Babasevo. <laughs> today is going to be about 60k, so another relatively short day, but we imagine it's going to be fairly hilly because we're in Bulgaria and that's the way it seems to be. Ivan's Church, dating back to the 15th century. And here we are, Hotel Katala, two star, here in Black Door Girl Grab. So every day, when we get to our choice of accommodation, Tonight we're in Blagorvgrad. Whip everything off. The little bag really comes into its own. For all the bits and pieces. Everything ready to go. And then we have to find somewhere to put the bikes. Got it. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. This is our room for the night. £15.63. We're right in the middle of the local Black Dog Garev Grad. Day 80 and we're going to Macedonia today, country number 13, if you're including in England, which we are. Uh, we're going to a place called Pacevo today on the way to Borovo. And apparently some big, big, big uphills all day long, which will be great fun. But then the only place to stay anywhere, we don't want to camp again because it's so cold, is a place called, well, in Pacevo, and it's the hotel Govov. Godov, and it's 35 euro or something, but it's got a sauna and a steam room. It's gonna be so good two coffees here in Bulgaria. They're really nice, freshly brewed Lavazzi coffees, Lungo, one lev. And at the moment it's 2.20 to the pound, so that's about 40p for two big coffees. We're just leaving Blagovgrad. Every single lay-by has been like this actually. It's disgusting. Our plastic waste is just as bad, it's just not so obvious. Hmm. Ah, oh. it's actually quite dangerous, really. Part of the year of early 13, but again, we still haven't seen any signs and no recognition of it being part of the, the Euro Velo circuit. But as long as you go really slowly and you go on the side, they seem to give you enough space. It's just when there's two cars or two lorries coming on both lanes, it gets a bit tight, but especially as you're going up a really big hill as well, you can't just like, and there's nowhere to pull over either. As you can see, there's no hard shoulder. But part and parcel of adventure. <laughs> We've just stopped here at this little bus stop. Bit of shade, really hot now. And we've got some delicious flapjacks. And a girl just came to give us apples. Just being kind. She just gave us four really nice, fresh, mm. beautiful local apples. These flapjacks as well. I haven't had flapjack for so long with um, icing on. I was just telling Hazard that I used to have these at school probably every day from the Happy Shopper across the road. 40p? They're about 30p, 25p. Uh, Along with a whole pack of custard creams. <laughs> or Maryland cookies? Maryland cookies, they were my thing. You should buy a whole pack of them, eat them on the bus on the way home and have one of these. And then at lunchtime, I remember at half ten in our school canteen, they used to sell the little donuts with icing on and hundreds of thousands. Or ice buns. Used to have those and the ice buns. <laughs> and then quite often um, a pizza bread. So it wasn't a pizza, but it was like a, it was like toast with a pizza on it. Um, they were like 30p or something as well. 
So I used to have that every single, nearly every single day at school. I hope schools have got a little bit healthier at break times now. Um, oh yeah, and the other thing I used to have at the J Dragon Chinese across the road as well. I used to get egg fried rice um, with nothing else um, as a snack. And then you'd have the, they'd, you'd just ask for a pot of sweet and sour sauce as well and you'd whip it in. I should have been really fat. Not if we keep cycling. <laughs> every bus stop and every signpost and uh, lamppost, anything really, has these, which I find a bit creepy. We do have announcements in the papers. Yeah, true. This is a hill. <laughs> We've been climbing for ages now. Lois coming. Gave us loads of space though, it's really nice. The entry into Macedonia isn't an easy one. <laughs> We've heard it's easy border crossing, as in the immigration section, um, blah, blah, blah. But to get to the border, you have to climb this huge hill out of Bulgaria. Very, very scenic though. We can't wait to get to the top. I think we might have a sign at the top. Put the drone up, have a look around. So we just went past a couple of lads in a larder and they called themselves the border police <laughs> and I was a bit, a bit nervous because I thought they haven't got any markings on or anything and they're just in, we're in the middle of nowhere but they just had a look at our passports did the usual wow kind of reaction when they saw all of our stamps and then uh, just gave our passports back and we're on our way oh look at all the bees so good they make a lot of honey in this region we bought a little bottle or jar earlier one kilometer to the Republic of Macedonia. So a couple of pre-thoughts about Macedonia. It obviously used to be part of Yugoslavia and the areas around Macedonia. So Greek Macedonia, Bulgarian Macedonia, that all used to be one big country. But Macedonia wanted to break off and be their own Republic. And the Greeks wanted that bit and the Bulgarians wanted their own bit. So it ended up being quite a small country, Macedonia now. And only recently they've tried to rename themselves as North Macedonia because the Greek Macedonians and the Bulgarian Macedonians still feel that they're Macedonian. Um, probably just the elders to be fair. But So it's a very small country. We don't know much more about it apart from it's bloody hilly and it's the hardest country to get into cycling wise by a long stretch. It's a good 25k up from the Bulgarian city of Black Dolgrad. And we're just at the border now. Other things we know about Bulgaria, uh, Macedonia, they've got a lovely flag, red, with a lovely sunshine on it. And they've also got a terrible football team. So let's see what we find out. Here we are. Country number 13, Macedonia. Just crossed over the border into Macedonia and we're at 27 kilometers from Blagdorgrav. And um, God, God knows how you say these places. And it was about 20, probably 23k of it was all uphill, steep as well. It was by far the biggest hills we've had to do. Because it was so long as well. Yeah. Views were worth it. And now powered we've... Through. Powered through. Powered that's it, exactly. We, um, we waited until we got to the border before we had our lunch break. So it's uh, one o'clock, perfect timing. We've got 7k downhill now. And, uh, and then it's basically uphill all the way to the rest of the, for the rest of the day, up to the hotel. 25. Yeah, so another 35k after the downhill. Ideal. That's right. So after that 10 kilometer descent from the Macedonia-Bulgaria border, we're now kind of going back uphill again. We went through a little town, a little plateau. Um, but yeah, apparently might be another 30k or so uphill to Pachevo. There's absolutely nothing in Macedonia since the first town by the border. So we, we've, we've questioned the, the name of the country and renamed it Massalonia. Hey. It's the first vehicle we've seen for a while in Massalonia. No, we've seen a few cars, but still get horse and cart in these regions as well, just like in Serbia. Not so many in Bulgaria. 
some serious hills. Last hill of the day! Oh my god. So a nice little downhill and then a nice 10% gradient up. Lovely. And here we are. Pachevo. So we're gonna go left here and find a hotel. What an absolute machine. Nearly there, yeah. Yeah, nearly there. You having fun? <laughs> Speechless, so much fun. Considered giving up cycling. <laughs> Did you just say gin? Oh, yeah. And here we are, we just got to Panchevo. And because everything else is full, we've gone for the Hotel Gogov. Four star hotel, 35 euros. This is by far the most expensive place we've had in months since Switzerland camping, funnily enough. And we're very much looking forward to the spa. They've got a sauna and steam rooms, it's gonna be so nice. Toughest day probably ever, so. We made it, still smiling. Very smart. Very smart. Oh, good job, we're totally smart and not smelly and grotty. Look, that's the new flag. The best thing about this place is being a proper hotel. They do bed and breakfast, so we've actually got breakfast included. It starts at eight o'clock, so we'll be there five to eight, we're ready to go, and it's massive. We've seen a we're picture ready. of it. We're gonna absolutely destroy it, and we've got so much in my pockets, this is untrue. 